Question 32. Compound Y is hydrolyzed by warm aqueous silver nitrate to form a precipitate that is a soluble in the dilute aqueous ammonia. So from these statements, uh, it's telling us uh, when the silver ions react with the halides from the compound Y, uh, it will produce the silver chloride. Because uh, only the silver chloride it will be soluble in the dilute aqueous ammonia. Uh, this statement or this information is telling us uh, the precipitate is a silver chloride. Means the compound Y only it could be uh, chlorine. The halogens in the compound Y is uh, chlorine. Means answer it just could be C or D. So it cannot be A it cannot be B. So we will not discuss A and B. Eh? So we'll just focus on the C, D. And uh, compound Y undergo an elimination to form alkene. So C or D will undergo eliminations to form alkene. Uh, then look at the structure here. This is a C. Okay. So compound C. Uh, the This one... Okay, I use uh, this skeleton formula okay, to uh, redraw the structure, the display formula. Uh, this one, okay, because the is CH2Cl and the adjacent carbon uh, is has the hydrogen. For eliminations to happen, the adjacent carbon must have a hydrogen. So this is a neighboring carbon. And this is the carbon with the chlorine. The neighboring carbon it must has uh, at least one hydrogen, because uh, when we use the hydroxide in the ethanol, the hydroxide will attack the uh, hydrogen uh, that bonded to adjacent carbon. So the CH bond here will break. Of course, this one will form H two O. This one after the attack. And uh, these electrons will move to the CC uh, bond and form double bonds. At the same time, the CCL bonds will break. These two electrons will move to the chlorine and form chloride. So eventually, it will form this uh, uh, alkene. So this uh, built one in. For the D, uh, it cannot produce uh, any alkene. Why? Because uh, Yes, there is a CH2Cl, this one, but the neighboring carbon, uh, this is the CCl, neighboring carbon is this, uh, this one. The neighboring carbon is has three methyl group, no hydrogen. So it cannot undergo elimination uh, because the neighboring carbon, the adjacent carbon, it has no hydrogen bonded to it. So answer, it must be C. Okay, that's all. Thank you.